Hi there, Cancer. Thanks for tuning in to Star Lord is Tarot. I'm going to be doing a romantic read for you guys surrounding the full moon on August the 7th. Okay, I went ahead and pulled four cards and I'm going to start turning them over and explain to you what's happening here. Okay, the first card you have is the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. The next card you have is the Two of Cups in the upright. And then we have the Five of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the world in the upright position. Okay, so the first card here represents you in the present situation. And you have the Ace of Swords in the reverse position. The Ace of Swords um, generally speaks of, uh, when it's in the reverse position, speaks of a lack of clarity on some matter. Now, we're, this is a romantic love reading, so it could be that for some of you, um, you're having uh, some problems with clarity with someone that is very special to you. And it could be a, a partner or it could be a love interest, someone that you're interested in. And maybe they're confusing you in some way or something about the situation or the relationship is conf confusing you somewhat. And you're feeling these energies of needing clarity, just feeling a lack of clarity in some area. Now, what you have crossing you, which is can represent challenges or blockages, that you have from for moving forward with this situation you have the two of cups in the upright position now the two of cups generally uh, represents pair bonding this is the card of two people really uh, seeing eye to eye and getting along very very well now um, as a challenge it could be that uh, due to the lack of clarity uh, maybe you're suspicious somewhat of your partner or the person that you're pair bonded with or wanting to pair bond with. Maybe there's something um, that you feel that they're hiding from you or something that just is a miss that just isn't right. And it could be causing the blockage between you and a significant other or, um, or a potential suitor. The energies are there, it's really beautiful, and for some of you, it could even be that maybe your uh, your pair bonding with someone is causing uh, confusion to uh, to the situation or the relationship. Maybe for some of you, maybe you find yourself like really connected, connecting with someone else, and uh, you're already partnered or you're already seeing someone, and it's causing a bit of confusion. It's going to be different for all of you. It's just a general read, right? So. Moving on in your past energies that could still be affecting your romantic relationship right now is that of the Five of Pentacles. Well, the Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling uh, dejected, rejected, and left out in the cold. So maybe for some of you <clears throat> in your past, your recent past, you did feel that this person maybe ignored you for a while or uh, just sort of left you out in the cold to... Uh, you know, fend for yourself for a while. And perhaps that's where the confusion came from. For some of you, this could be the scenario where you're confused because someone did leave you out in the cold and this was a person who was very close to you. And um, it could be that they're trying to come back now and uh, that's what's causing the confusion. Maybe you never understood. Maybe there was a misunderstanding that you never really cleared up with this person. And uh, that's why you're a little bit hesitant about letting that pair bonding happen again and then moving forward into uh, the future this is beautiful energy major arcana the world in the upright position this is really nice this is that of completing a cycle now for some of you how this will play out is someone left you out in the cold there was a rejection that happened and you're unclear about it but they're trying to come back and pair bond with you but you feel that that situation has run its course and you are now completing a cycle with them. Or for some of you, the misunderstanding will be cleared up because this person maybe is being pushy and, um, you know, sort of uh, insisting that they uh, hook up with you or uh, re-enter your life. And perhaps that cycle of uh, feeling rejected and left out in the cold is now coming to an end. 
either way it's a really good energy going forward cancer you basically have the world in your hands and uh, you end up going forward with uh, some really good energy this is really positive a beautiful beautiful way to end this reading with the world with this completion so for some of you it's going to be a completion with this relationship and for others of you it will be a completion of the end of the relationship and you will feel good and move forward um, very confidently and very beautifully so I hope this uh, reading resonated with you cancer and if it did please feel free to like share subscribe leave me a comment and until next time you guys take good care happy full moon cancer bye for now